heads has been called by Asif. It's a head. Asif, you won the toss. What are you going to do? We're going to bat. As you did in Gwalia? Yes, yes. We've been batting uh, all the games, so we'll continue with the same plan. You've had a good look at the pitch? Yes, very good look at the wicket. The wicket looks very good. And uh, as I said, we've got to bat the 50 overs to set a decent target. 265 you scored at Gwalia. Confidence must be sky high. Yes, the boys are quite confident. Uh, everybody has batted well in that uh, game. But that's a different game. Today is a new game. We've got to make sure that we bat those 50 overs again and uh, we'll have a decent score. Chudasuma is back in your side? Correct, yeah. We're resting Alpesh Wadar and uh, Chudasuma comes in to open the innings. So what are you looking for? We're looking to bat 50 overs and I'm <laughs> sure we'll have a decent target. You're not going to give us a total? No, not at the moment. All right, Asi, thanks very much. Thank Enjoy you. the game. Thank you. Let's have a word with uh, Azza. Azza, yeah. you lost the toss as you did in Gwalia. Yeah, that's right. You know, I mean, I was looking to bat on this wicket because uh, it plays the best. But uh, anyway, we've lost the toss. We make sure that we restrict them to a smaller total. Yeah, you've had a few days to think about that score in uh, Gwalia. What are your thoughts? Well, I said, I think they played well. You, know, they have to give you have to give credit to a uh, team which has played uh, better than us on that day. But uh, today is a different game. Uh, it's a new game, so we're looking forward to the game. Today. Has the captain lectured the team? Yeah, I mean, we've got uh, the best side now, so hopefully we'll do our best today. All right, Azit, thanks very much. Thank Enjoy you. the game. Thanks very much indeed. That's the news of the toss, exactly as it was in Gwalia. Kenya have won it, and they will bat. So the stage is all set then, and Dipak Judasima, who is back in the side, he played in the first two matches, making 36 and 32, and looked in good form, and then uh, he had a bit of an injury problem, but he's now back for the big occasion, the final of this Coca-Cola Cup, and with him, Ravindu Shah, who's been in tremendous form throughout this tournament, and he's certainly one of the star players of the tournament, and uh, another good performance here, and he might well find himself being declared the man of the series. Venkatesh Prasad is the man who's going to open the bowling. So it is, Prasad to Judasana. That's a gentle opening delivery there from Prasad. Dropping just short of second slip. As ready in the captain grabs it. Ajit Agarkar has a good strike rate. He nearly had one more to his kitty. And Azar is showing what a great fielder he is in slips. No problem catching that one on the bounce. And you can see a bit of spring in everybody's feet. On the field, the Indians are really pepped up today. That's beautifully played and it might well go away to the boundary. It does. The first four of the innings, very well played by Judasima. Well, this is a quality shot hit on the up. It's a glorious shot. I've seen Ajit get hit through the covers in his early overs and exactly the same area. Well, they've started well, these two batsmen. They certainly don't look overawed by the occasion. And any final at Eden Gardens is really a big occasion. Crazy cricket fans here. Found the third man and might even beat the fielder. It's going to go into the rope. Great effort, but uh, just couldn't prevent it from rolling against the boundary rope. Just a little short at this time, but again a good shot. And he was done a bit by the pace in which the ball came at him. And Agurka, and he's caught. Caught by Azuruddin at second slip. Went down the wicket there, which is most surprising. And Judasima gets the edge, and Azuruddin took the catch so casually, it's quite unbelievable. Well, Azza's reaction after taking the catch tells you the story. They're all very charged up. They are like wounded tigers, you know. <laughs> They've lost the game, the last match, and they're feeling very bad about it, no doubt. And Deepak Chudasma had decided that he was going to take chances, but didn't last too long. He's gone for 10 of 15 deliveries. Kenya, 13 for 1. Steve Tickelow is the new batsman. What a wonderful uh, tournament he's having, not only with bat, with ball as well. Lovely shot played away 
through midwicket off his toes that's a really classy shot that and it races to the boundary not a good delivery really over pitch on the leg stump easy as those This is up in the air, oh dear, 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 an easy catch for Kinetikov, and away goes Ravinder Shah, now that is a really big blow to Kenya, Prasad has got him, and I was just going to say, he's got to be careful on this pitch, because it's coming on a bit, and it's bouncing a bit more than you might expect. Well, Ravinder Shah should have studied Venkatesh Prasad's bounce because he was getting an excessive bounce and really no man's land when he played that shot the ball came on a little too quick and a little too high for that shot and Ravindu Shah gone for eight and Kenya 19 for Morris Odumbe replaces Ravindu Shah well that one didn't get up quite as much as he expected I'm sure in his wildest dreams he wouldn't have expected this ball. That's your first ball for his innings. That's good thinking by Prasad. The Indians are, I tell you, really charged up. There's no doubt about that. Oh, it's bold. It kept a bit low, but it came back. It sneaked back at him, hit the off stump. Even though it did keep a bit low, it was a good ball. And that is an enormous blow now for Kenya, they've lost three of their top line batsmen. If you want to pick a bowler who can use the bowling condition, there's a bit of uneven bounce here. Venkatesh Prasad is the man. That was again well pitched up delivery. Just uh, just about good length. A uh, length where it's very difficult for the batsman to go on the front foot or be comfortable on the back foot. And Maurice Odumbe is gone for zero. And Kenya 21 for three. So back you come to Eden Gardens as Hitesh Modi makes his way out to the middle. He's edged and gone. Ajit Agarkar's great ability to pick up wickets and a big, big Kenyan wicket. Stephen Ticolo caught Nayan Mongia, both Ajit Agarkar and can Kenya now recover from this killer blow. Steve Ticolo got away with a similar shot a while back, maybe a couple of deliveries earlier, playing that back foot drive, ball bouncing more than he expected, getting that outside edge and also moving a little out, and he is happily taken by Mongia. So Ticolo goes for three, and Kenya in dire straits now, 23 for four. Kennedy Otien is probably telling himself, it doesn't matter what number I bat, I'm always there for the new ball. Now, he went right across his thumb. I'll be very interested in seeing umpire Jay Prakash's award on that one. He's calling it leg bias. Where did it land? I'll be very interested in seeing this one. Very close indeed. He went right across. He shuffled almost to outside that off stump. You can see the leg stump. That was close indeed. Probably the angle of the delivery and the fact that that was slanting down to the leg stump. Sixth over for Ajit Agarkar. And a good positive shot from Hitesh Modi. Desperately needed by Kenya. He really caught in quicksand and that will be a, a wonderful moment. That's the first pull that has really come off. A couple of them have taken the edge. One took a wicket. And that is perfectly executed. Now that's beaten the man out there. It's gone very quickly for four. Ajay Jadeja, he's no slouch. Well, that was a real powerful square cut. Otieno looks a strong man. And that's the reason there's so much power behind the shot. We had Ajay Jadeja at sweeper there, and he had no chance. And then he mixes it up with a variety that you wouldn't see in many coaching manuals. 
That's a nervous shot from Otieno, but it's got him four runs. Well, the shot selection again is baffling. It's an identical delivery. Got to be front foot defending it. He goes for a slog instead. And they could have easily been five wickets down. He's lost him. It's gone. That was a confident shot. Otieno getting his mark. Moves up to 19. 12 runs off the over. Expensive for Singh and for India and Kenya after 19 of 66 for four. Oh, he's lofted him, but there is a man underneath it. Could be curtains. Sangvi drops it. He had a lot of time. He got himself into the right position and it simply fell through his fingers. Well, it's really adding to Anil Kumble's frustrations. Yeah, again, this is a poor cricket shot and poor cricket thinking. But Rahul Sangvi makes it easier for Hitesh Modi. And I hope they learn from this. Really, I don't understand why they're going for these shots. This is in the air, but he's picked the gap well, and it's going to be four runs. Well, we're just saying how strong he is on the onside, and that uh, he's not often seen driving through the covers, but he hit that one so well over the infield of cover for four. Really, Trevor, it's just to prove us wrong, maybe. That is a wonderful follow-through of the bat. He really knew what he was attempting. The toe pointing towards extra cover, his front foot in position. And he so beautifully just lobbed it over the infield in extra cover. Now there's a bit of a mix-up here. And a very good fielding indeed by Ganguly. Maybe it's just as well they decided to abort the run. They really can't afford a run out at this stage. Just look at that. That is great fielding. And this is a very good hit indeed. And it's six and it's well taken by the little ball boy. Just over the boundary rope there. But it's six runs to Atieno. This is amazing cricket. Watch that hit from outside that off. He picked it up so beautifully. And it's been caught. There had to be a catch there. There were certainly two noises. Martino might have been out there. You see the double noise? And he was pushing at that. Mongia went up and so did the bowler. They were absolutely adamant. Confusion here. And oh, a direct hit there. And Martino might have been in trouble. But it misses the wickets and uh, the man at the stumps, the bowler, Sangbi, and they get a, an overthrow that brings up the 100. That is definitely a missed opportunity. I cannot understand why Sangbi let that ball go. He just didn't make a proper attempt to hold on to it. Kumle. It's a bit on the field, but the ball's on its way to the boundary. Four runs. I'd like to see that one again. It looked the closest. Ball, middle stump, and maybe just down the leg side. Oh, maybe not. There's been so many shouts by Anil Kumle, but this looked a little closer than the rest. You know, the interesting thing is, he's shouting at an end where he knows the umpire so well. Ah! He's given him now. Otieno is LBW to Anil Kumle, and Kumle believes at last that there is justice in this world. Well, at last Anil finds success and he's going to be mighty relieved because he has really had to work hard he's been shouting for LBWs and this is probably the 14th or 15th time that's hit Otieno on the pads in that fashion Otieno departs for 20 I think he played reasonably well 
struck by his partner and Kenya 105 for 5. Thomas Odoyo comes into play Anil Kumble's last ball. The second of two shots has produced a wicket. He's got it and he deserves it. A huge moment in Hitesh Modi's career. Virtually packed house at the Eden Gardens and he scored a 50 there. Well, that's a great inning, really. And he's one of those players who's made an impact in this tournament from Kenya. Bit of a change here. This outfield is electric and that's gone. Robin Singh is very quick across the outfield and the ball beat him in for four leg buys. Well, this is Ajit Agarka's style of bowling. The ball had hit the thigh pad and it's gone for four leg buys. But he was appealing. He was going after the wicket. Just straying down the leg side. No chance for a leg before. That'll go as well. Superbly timed. And Robin Singh must wonder what he's doing there because balls are flying all, all around him. Well, we've seen this uh, in the earlier innings of the Tesh Modi. He goes right to the pitch and he has a short backlift. But the face of the bat really meets the ball so well. Lovely shot. One bounce, four. Picked his spot. There was no one in the deep and that was four. Well, Sohra knows what to do with the ball and Hitesh Modi knows what to do with the bat. See, not too much backlift, but gives it a good thump and he watches the ball so well. And he's still on the attack, he's lofted it and it's gone. Uh, that's another good clean hit from Hitesh Modi. He's really attacking the Indians. The fine leg up in the 30-yard circle. Look at him improvise that one. Going across to his off stump and flicking it over the backward square leg region for four. Uh, this is up in the air. There is a man underneath it. It could be a good catch. It's a blinding catch. That is one of the great catches of this tournament. Rishikesh Kanitka coming in at a red of knots. And he is brought to an end. This tremendous innings from Hidesh Modi. This wonderful innings coming to an end with one of the greatest catches you'll see. A little bit of the leading edge. It was miles in the sky. And look at that catch. It is astounding. It's quite a miracle. And look at him slide all the way through. A wonderful take. That gets rid of the dangerous Modi. For 71, Kenya now in trouble again at 142 for 6. Asif Karim, the Kenyan captain, coming in at eight. Thomas Otoya now on eight himself. Karim, not really too well known for his batting exploits, but he's got a captain's job to do. The outside edge, a lot of pace on that delivery, as is always in Kumble's deliveries. Welcome boundary. They've got a slip-in for Karim. That's gone. That ball just raced away. Robin Singh couldn't cut it off, and he's quick. That was the faster delivery, the flipper, going down the leg side a bit, taking the inside edge, and even Robin couldn't cut that off. pulled away and hit with immense power that's a big six that is a great hit from Odoyo that was unbridled power a little short and that smile tells you how he enjoyed it shot ball outside that off stump not a lot of height on it and just look he really launched himself into that one wonderful picture that perfect timing six glorious runs Bowled it. Odoyo has gone. Played right over the top of it. And Kumble has struck for India. It's a seventh wicket down now for Kenya. 
and the last stands of resistance are being frittered away. That was a Kumble special delivery which he has really become famous for, the Yorker length delivery on the length stump. And Thomas Adoyo played all over it. So 21 of 33 deliveries and Kenya now 164 for 7. 164 for 7, Thomas Odeo, the last man to go. And he makes way now for Martin Suji. Oh, it's slipped past. A despairing dive from Mongeer and it's gone for four. Martin Suji is off the mark. That's the benefit I feel of a harder, lighter ball. A little more bounce on that. A little bit of movement on the outside and Mongia just can't reach it. So that's four runs. And that is a wide to finish. It's not his last ball. Four wides. Now that's a little bit disappointing from Kumble's point of view. And that is the major benefit that you achieve if you manage to play the 50 overs. To give yourself an opportunity to get balls like that well i think he's complaining because i think he feels that it was uh, either a leg by let's have another look at this well that's brushed his pad that's come off his front pad and that's what kumble was uh, complaining about and he's just conceded a boundary so these are good runs coming for the kenyans Prasad will be disappointed with that delivery. He's operating off a shortened run. And Kenya now 179 for 7. And that's out. Caught behind. Martin Suji played and missed a few times. Played and missed the ball before. This time he got a little neck. He didn't even wait for the umpire's finger to go up. He just turned and went away to the pavilion. Well, Martin Suji has talent but not when he's batting. Well, too good a delivery for him. And he politely obliges Nan Mongia and, and he's on his way for four and Kenya 180 for eight. Mohammed Sheikh, the new batsman, he hasn't had to do much batting in this tournament so far. The little he's had to do. He's not going to maybe Asif Karim, the captain, is out, caught behind. Straightforward catch again for Mongia, and the captain goes. I think Mongia should thank Venkatesh Prasad for, you know, bringing him back into the game. He's not had a great day as a keeper, but he's got a few catches, and easy at those. Venkatesh really just capitalizing on his line and length and finding some easy pickings here in the last phase of Kenya's innings. Asif Karim, the captain, goes for 13 and Kenya 185 for 9. Joseph Angara is the new batsman. <laughs> Peel for LBW here. It seemed as though he'd moved right across in front of his stumps, but the, the umpire is again not interested and signals four leg buys. Well, I really don't think that was going to hit middle stump. And you can't get decisions if the ball is going to hit the outside of leg stump. The umpire has to be convinced that it's hitting middle stump. It wasn't on that occasion. He's taken the catch off his own bowling. That was very good work by Agurka there. And uh, the last man is out. And Joseph Angara goes. He went back to his crease after hitting that into the hands of Agurka. And I thought... Uh, he was safe. That's a very smart catch. And he always watch it after you've taken it. He does that and a mighty relief as a walking back to the pavilion. Well, I couldn't understand why the batsman uh, Angara turned back into his crease. He needed to just keep walking after that splendid catch by the Gurkha. So Mohammed Sheikh leaves first, followed by Angara and uh, Kenya are all out without getting to the 200 and also without batting out their allotted 50 overs which uh, is not surprising after having crashed to 23 for four wickets at one stage but a good recovery mainly through Modi and uh, 
through Otiano, who put on 82 together, but the innings has now ended short of 200. Yes, that scoreboard at one stage scored short 23 for four. They put 82 for the fifth wicket. Nathaniel and Kenya finished with 196. And if you look at one stage, that they may not quite get that far. A couple of outstanding bowling figures there. The one man who'd want to keep those figures forever is Venkatesh Prasad, who had four for 23 from his 10 overs. Anil Kumble bowled a lovely line as well. 10 overs, two for 34. And Ajit Agarkar finished with three for 31. So it's Martin Suji to Saurav Ganguly. Beautifully played. A gorgeous shot from Tendulkar. Absolutely vintage. You won't see a better cover drive than that. Yes, he just eased it through the covers. Just watch that. That is delightful. Kanguri down the pitch he goes. Lots him over the top. It's just three feet inside the, the boundary road. It's a great hit. That is confidence for you and aggression. Wonderful use of the feet. Out in a flash. And he has this great ability to play over the top on the offside. got this one through as well they won't stop that that's going all the way I didn't finish my sentence Alan and this is what he does he exploits that gap he is just terrific on the offside if the ball gives him a little say three four times the price he is on his own for playing shots like that they are straight out of the Tendulkar top draw What a glorious flick of the wrist. And the follow-through of the bat, it finishes right over his head. Perfectly timed. What balance. Leaning forward. And it raced away to the fence. That's beautifully placed. Not easy to field over here. Those legs get tired very quickly. Third of Ganguly gets four. And when he gets the ball in the middle of the bat, that's usually the result. They're feeding him on his strength and he's just picking them off. Maurice Odumbe is probably the best fielder on the ground. We've seen him very very good in the, in the within the circle and look at the slide and there it is again I mean the mid on was nearly 15 yards inside the 30 yard circle and it was just sort of placing the ball to his left and four easy runs he's got to stay back Shows a beautiful straight bat and look at that mid-on fielder. Did you see him? He's actually going back towards 30 yards. That's how far inside he was in. Dropped. And four. Once again, mid-off was in. He's gone for four. Well, when you've got two batsmen really hitting hard. We've got to have mid on, mid on a little deep. See here, Saura Ganguly hitting it straight and hard. And the fielder is at least 10 yards inside the circle. If he was on the 30 yards, that would have been a comfortable catch. He's not and looking too well. Sanjay, one of the reasons he's down there is that we're shortly going to have uh, drinks on the ground. We should be. Everyone's relaxing. Everyone's assuming it's drinks. No, it's not. As Tenduka gets ready for action, I'll be very curious to see very interested to see how Sir of Ganguly now tackles the situation. Just a touch of dizziness, he's re recovering from a fever. Will he go all out? Will he hang in there? It's going to be very interesting. Now, this man's decided. The lesser time you spend in the middle, the better it is. 
Okay, and Gouli on strike, having taken a single off the last ball of the last over. And this is hit very, very high. And is it handsome enough to go for six? No. Just short and over the ropes. But it went very, very high. After a long time, Angara has really pitched it up to the bat. Not really. It was a good use of the feet. Hit it very high in the air. All he needed to do was chip it over the infield. Handsome four runs. Bowled him. And a purely defensive shot that uh, Ganguly tried to play there and somehow it got through and it's knocked out a stump and Ganguly goes. Shortly after having had a bit of a dizzy spell I think he was angling his bat, wanting to play it to third man. And the inside edge straight onto the stumps. So disappointed Ganguly. Losing it slightly, very soft in this humidity. 36 of 45 in India now, 77 for one. 27-year-old Ajay Dudeja is the new batsman playing in his 132nd one day international. This gets past wicketkeeper Otiano and runs down to the boundary. Mm. That hasn't been declared a wide. Yes, it is. Now it is. Now it is, yes. Initially, the umpire just signaled boundary. And then almost as an afterthought, he probably had forgotten to raise his arms. And that is four runs, and that would have been a catch, I think, if Otieno had been back. Yes, and that could be bad luck in as far as much as it's bad timing, because Otieno had just come up, last two deliveries, just watch that outside edge, and yes, that was in the air for quite some time. There's not a lot of pace that Angara generates. That could have been held... Definitely, if Otieno was in his original position, standing back. Oh, what a shot. Maybe that was the shot of the match so far. It fairly raced to the boundary. You said it. That really is the shot of the innings. Just watch that closely. Ah. Oh absolute class stamped all over it that's in the air but it's in the gap too and it uh, will probably run away for four oh, fielders holding it in Ravindu Shah chasing hard and they take three ends up the hundred so the hundred up for India a loud cheer and also in anticipation of Sachin Tendulkar's 50 because he is one run away from it. 49 in 49. There it is. He's 41st in one day international cricket for India. And it came from exactly 50 balls with six sparkling fours. Wonderful. Uh, this is racing away. It's another chase for Sheikh. And he's going to go crashing into the Coca Cola. If you're going to bowl a ball quick in the air, it shouldn't be in that area. And Sachin, I know, loves to play some delicate shots. He's more happy when he plays these shots than the powerful drives or the lofted shots that he so often plays. And Sachin whips it across and he's hit that so hard again. No chance for the boundary fielder. Well, Maurice Odumbe trying to do the Tendulkar, bowling his off spinners and slipping in a leg spin, but a grand bad ball. No second invitation. Picks up the gap and four runs. You see there, both the leg spinner, not much control. 
didn't really come up too much but he handled it pretty well in the end that's a runner ball for Sachin Chadeja on 15 at the other end 63 now Sachin Tendulkar oh that's a bit of a slog but it's found the gap again it nearly was a mishap there but another murderous fall from Sachin he really is climbing in now well once he decides he's going for it even if he doesn't come to the pitch of the ball he more often he completes the shot a little bit of luck there but enough bad on it to still get four runs Well, the keeper, of course, standing up to the spinner, but there's no slip. There hasn't been a slip for a long time. And Sachin knows that he can play that shot with a little bit of risk. And it goes for yet another four. Well, he was not totally in control of the shot. I have a feeling it got the glove. Did it? Or maybe not. But not really in control of the shot, but he knew he had to just beat the point fielder. And there will be four runs. And this might go all the way. It's just a little tickle around the corner. It's a long chase. And it's a futile chase. It's gone for four. Martin Suji giving chase. And he looks a tired man. Well, Sachin playing more delicate shots in this inning. Not the kind of big ones we are used to seeing Sachin play. Because he's just picked up another boundary. So he goes up to 96. And India 182 for one. That's how it happened. Is that going to be it? It is. Very symbol of perfection that cover drive. Sachin Tendulkar gets to his 16th century in one-day international cricket. What an innings it's been. And one more time in an illustrious career, he brings his teammates and the crowd to their feet. 100 from 102 balls. Kadeja moves into the 40s, 45 to him. That was an attempt to get some, to try something different, maybe can pull, because that has been one shot that has been attempted a lot today without much success. He played that beautifully, he controlled it, kept it down. His weight transfer was perfect. Well, there's four of them. A short delivery and Ajay Jateja slaps it away for four through cover and the scores are level just one run to win and one run for Jadeja to get to his half century just about everything seems to be going right for Ajay Jadeja these days five runs needed five for him he gets that short ball and again that shift of weight onto the back foot and he just clobbers it through the infield just one needed for victory and for his 50. Chabeja gets it away for the single he wanted a half century to RJ Chadeja he raises his back to the crowds the stands are alight and Sachin Tendulkar 100 Coca-Cola tri-series tournament between India, Kenya and Bangladesh. It's been a wonderful evening for the batting genius of Sachin Tendulkar. And of course we've seen the supporting role from Ajay Jadeja, who captained India in two matches in this competition. The Kenyans on the night outclassed. They always knew they were going to be up against it. They had their moment of glory. They had their moment of glory in Gwalior. But tonight, the mighty Indian side winning by nine wickets with a wonderful century from that man there, Sachin Tendulkar. Tendulkar, 100 not out from 102 balls, 
Jadeja 50 from 65 balls and a nice little cameo up at the start from Saurav Ganguly who made 36 from 45 balls before the conditions rather than the bowlers got to him. A look at the Kenyan bowling. Lots of bowlers used there. Martin Suji had a slightly off day but the only one really to get a wicket there was Joseph Angara. Six overs and one for 37. Towards the end there were what eight bowlers used. And now to the man of the match award. It was decided by Ranjan Mudagala of Sri Lanka, the former Sri Lankan captain, and the two managers. And, uh, well, there was not even a discussion needed because, of course, for his 16th One Day International 100, he's only just behind Desmond Haynes, Sachin Tendulkar. And Sachin will receive a cheque for 5,000 rupees from Mr. Dalmere. Sachin, another wonderful exhibition of batting. It's nice to develop this habit. Uh, I don't mind getting this, this habit. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, my time in Sharjah and uh, especially here also in Calcutta in front of all the people in Cal Calcutta. And I've really been very happy and uh, this is my first hundred and hope to get many more. For yes. the winning team, the Coca-Cola Cup champions, Mohammad Ajruddin, the captain of India. Mohammed will receive that cheque of 50,000 rupees from Mr. Subhas Chakrabarti, the Honourable Minister for Sport and Youth Services, the Government of West Bengal, and of course that magnificent trophy. <laughs> Winners of the Coca-Cola Cup, India and uh, Aza, well done. Yeah, I think we played well uh, in the last game. I mean, whatever we did the uh, day before yesterday, so hot. No? But uh, I think when Sachin plays like that, you know, when you don't lose, so I think they really played very well, Ajay and Sachin, and we got a good start. But I think uh, the main man for today's game, I thought, was Prasad, who really bowled very well. Prasad and Kumble, I thought they really stuck to the job and uh, really gave us good breakthrough, and Ajit Agarka as well. Mohammad Ajruddin, the captain of India, 